While it remains one of gaming's all-time biggest controversies, I still get a lot of question as to what exactly is hot coffee. To quickly explain, in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, CJ has the ability to date several women at the same time, and he can eventually invite them back for a cup of hot coffee. During this sequence, the hot coffee rendezvous takes place off screen. Unfortunately for Rockstar, shortly after release, modders managed to hack their way inside the home during the sequence, and not only did they find a fully modeled rendered scene inside, they also found an entirely programmed minigame that quite frankly is a little too hot for YouTube. When this hacked in minigame became public knowledge across America, it exploded the minds of politicians across the country, who used the incident as a platform to claim that video games were corrupting youth. As a response, the ESRB Entertainment Software Rating Board re-rated San Andreas from an M to an adults only, usually reserved for obscene entertainment, and as a result, San Andreas was pulled from over 85% of the marketplace. While Rockstar were able to remove the content and successfully resell San Andreas, the whole thing was rather ridiculous considering there's been plenty more hot coffee moments found in video games much less suspect than Grand Theft Auto. This is why today I'll be diving into 10 other unbelievably awkward discoveries found in video games that maybe deserved a little more attention than hot coffee. Halo 2 When Halo 2 for Windows Vista initially shipped, a rather unusual error could be found in the included map editor if you were to export an object using a very particular set of disproportionate values. An error would pop up known as ASS, which of course stands for Amalgam Scene Specification. And with that ASS error was this. Bungie employee Charlie Goff flashed in his own ass for anybody screwing around too much with the object editor. This was actually a running joke in the Bungie offices, and Bungie thought it'd be rather improbable for anyone to find it considering the precise proportions that had to be entered in order to see it. But, somebody did find it right after the game had shipped, and word quickly got back to Microsoft. The discovery was made right on the cusp of the hot coffee affair, so Microsoft was strongly concerned about facing backlash and immediately reported the finding to the ESRB. Unfortunately, the ESRB was also on edge at this time over the hot coffee incident as well and threatened to fine Microsoft heavily if it wasn't resolved. In response, Microsoft recalled the copies they already shipped out and applied a partial nudity sticker onto every copy until they were all sent back again. All in all reportedly costing Microsoft over a half million in losses. Only at the height of the hot coffee hysteria would this have ever happened, otherwise could you imagine how many games would need a retroactive partial nudity sticker? Which might include this next game. Spice World. Yeah, Spice World. So you probably wouldn't expect to find anything that surprising in a game that it was essentially supposed to be another piece of merchandise for the Spice Girls largely adolescent girl fan base. But sure enough, we're here. On the main menu, hold down start and press circle, triangle, triangle, circle. Now with the use of additional combinations, you can now display on and off personal messages from the developers of the game. Holy <laughs> But no, that's not actually the egg I'm trying to show you. After having just activated what is known as the master code, if the player were to hold down all the shoulder buttons, select and start, the game will reset and suddenly you'll be displayed this new loading screen with... Oh my. You know, I'd be pretty okay with this one if these faces weren't so horrifying. Scary literally looks like a demon spawned from hell about to chew my face off. Broken Sword 2 Near the end of Broken Sword 2, Nico becomes trapped in an ancient ruin where she stumbles upon a fairly complex puzzle involving two large Mayan discs. You simply need to line up the two pictures on the disc and then push them in on the tile while the other four tiles on the other side of the wall are actually different. So what you actually have are four pictures, each of which requires that you line up the first two on the disc, push them in, and then push in the fourth and the other two tiles simultaneously. Or instead of doing all of that, you could just put your cursor over this exact pixel and click it. For some reason that gives Nico the inclination to walk over to the secret corridor and, well... Oh. Well, I guess that works. I feel sorry for all those nerds that did it the right way. Dynamite. Dynamite was a Game Boy game created by Engine Software, a team that created Game Boy games like these in the 90s, and to this day they're still going strong. Dynamite was one of their many never released Game Boy games in the 90s that leaked out on the internet sometime after before becoming a forgotten relic in the endless digital abyss of piling abandonware. However, data miners that did manage to play this found a rather embarrassing discovery deep inside the data of Dynamite the developer's web browser history, which I don't think I have to tell you was not very safe for work. 
It theorizes was left here either as the most unusual placeholder data ever used, or as a result of the game's compiler not initializing memory correctly and capturing whatever else the developer was doing at the same time of making the game. If only this thing had been released and found, we may have actually had our first adults-only Game Boy game. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory So again, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory isn't exactly a game you expect with eyebrow-raising content, but then again, it was a tie-in for the Johnny Depp version, and I remember being hammered to death with this line from the adverts. Don't touch that squirrel's nuts! Anyway... Data miners digging around in the data of the files manage to find a line of code that says, Can I see your boots? And under the file named loadscr.tga is, well, exactly that. Which are uncensored in the actual game files. The unfortunate thing is nobody's ever figured out what the purpose of these puppies are at all, though I strongly feel it may belong to a still undiscovered easter egg hidden inside the actual game. Needless to say, I think this game definitely deserves a retroactive partial nudity sticker. For Honor. On February 14, 2017, players discovered in For Honor a finishing move for the Valkyrie class in the game with an animation that managed to spark some discussion online. While that little moment was rather quick and maybe you didn't even catch the controversial part, it didn't really matter if For Honor players caught this or not because Ubisoft removed it from the game within an hour after the game's release. This created a large backlash online with the game's base who felt they were being babied away from a moment that briefly involved female breasts in a game about brutal execution style warfare. The rumor that killed this heat was the theory that Ubisoft was trying to avoid exactly what happened with San Andreas and Halo 2 where they have to resubmit For Honor to the ESRB which would be a long and tedious process with huge potential losses. However, Ubisoft quickly made a statement that this wasn't really the case and flatly asserted that it was just never meant to show up in the game in the first place. I guess say what you have to, but come on. Last of Us Naughty Dog's Last of Us is the post-civilization adventure about a smuggler named Joel who's tasked with escorting a teenager named Ellie across a treacherous wasteland populated with infectious creatures mutated by a rare form of fungi. Despite all this, Joel probably just wanted to find a moment alone to himself from Ellie when he came across this pest control ad because when players actually dialed this number, they found out it was for a real-life adult chat hotline. Come on, baby, let's play. Once again, the developer chucked it up as a mistake and quickly patched it out of the game. According to creative director Neil Druckmann, the awkward discovery was the mistake of one of the asset artists who thought that they could just change the area code to 555 as Hollywood always does in the movies. The only problem is that doesn't work if you have a 1-800 in front of the 555. Unfortunately, this wasn't the only controversy The Last of Us faced, as many noted that the character of Ellie bared a striking resemblance to actress Ellen Page, who when asked about it on a Reddit Ask Me Anything said, I guess I should be flattered that they ripped off my likeness, but I am actually acting in a video game called Beyond Two Souls, so it was not appreciated. Hopefully for Ellen Page, Beyond Two Souls was a mostly controversy-free experience. Beyond Two Souls. Oh. I guess not. Beyond Two Souls is a David Cage interactive movie game starring the aforementioned Ellen Page and William Dafoe that poignantly asks the question, how many Hollywood movie tropes could be shoved into one video game? This is complete with the provocative shower scene moment that raises the viewer's blood pressure by painting just out of the view of the stuff that we all want to see. Unfortunately for Ellen Page, this wannabe Hollywood movie isn't a movie, and the scene can actually be hacked and unlocked by the player allowing players to view this scene from any angle that they choose. And to everyone's surprise, they actually used an impeccably detailed nude model of the actress. Typically, a nude model in a video game is similar to a Barbie doll with no real detail or depth, but for some reason we actually got the full thing here. Being that Ellen Page has a non-nudity clause in her contract, there wasn't a likelihood that this was her real body, but more likely an artist's rendition. Let's just say whoever made this had a good day in the office. Ellen Page was also reportedly upset about this and threatened legal suit. In the Sony hack of 2014, when thousands of emails were leaked supposedly as a threat from North Korea over the Seth Rogen film The Interview, an email did indeed surface that discussed Ellen Page's discontent with hackers finding the nude model. Cease and desist letters were sent out to websites with hacked materials, but no legal suit ever seems to have materialized. After all, Sony and Page were probably resistant to let this story leak unless they wanted to be faced with a huge increase in sales of players trying to catch a glimpse of Ellen Page in her birthday suit. Well, Page probably wouldn't have wanted that, I can't say the same for Sony. 
Watch Dogs 2. Not sure what Watch Dogs 2 player Swizzasaur was doing when he found this, but he discovered that a random pedestrian walking in an alley between Chinatown and Tenderloin had an unusually enormous amount of detail under her dress. Swizzasword used the share button on his PS4 controller and uploaded the photo to the Sony network where they instantly banned him for a month. Now obviously I have no way of showing you this on YouTube, but to paint you a picture, the image was extremely anatomically correct and featured more detail than a young kid would want to see, let alone a grown adult. Surprisingly, in this situation, Ubisoft actually didn't claim it as a mistake this time and seemed to actually take some ownership in the inappropriate inclusion, stating, While Watch Dogs 2 is a mature rated game, we apologize and will update this non-player model to make it more consistent with the other non-player models in the game in a patch to be released this week. And yes, while Watch Dogs 2 is a mature rated game featuring plenty of nude moments, I don't think anyone actually expected that level of detail. However, I saw no sources in my research that confirmed Ubisoft actually removed this. So if you have Watch Dogs 2 and you have some questions about human anatomy, this game's got you covered. Spider-Man When Spider-Man originally released in 2002, initial copies contained cheat codes that would allow you to reskin the player model with different characters from the Spider-Man universe, such as Captain Stacy and Mary Jane. However, players discovered that later copies with the greatest hit label had the cheat codes removed. Going as far as freezing the game when trying to reactivate them with an action replay or a code breaker disc. While it remains a complete mystery why Captain Stacy was ever removed, players had a pretty good idea why Mary Jane was removed when completing a game on one of the initial copies. Mary Jane, there's something I have to tell you. I... I know, Tiger. You don't have to say. That's my life. Complicated. Yeah, no kidding. Looks like you're done now. Go outside and play. Oh, f you. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And if you know of any content lurking in a game that surprised you yourself, let me know down below in the comments or come tell me personally at the Discord. Links in the description below. And for everyone asking about the music in the videos, I plan on uploading an album featuring music I've written for the channel in the next month, so keep an eye out for that. Special thanks to Dr. Love, Emery, Jason, The Live Collective, Pestland Sleeper, Towerizer, Spencer, Nick Fade, and Nest Dude. Stay tuned.